All right, guys. <clears throat> it is a lovely 90 degree day in May here in paradise in New York, baby. Where the hell am I? I am in uh, outside of Marathon, New York, where I have been uh, raiding the local reservoir for uh, bog garden plants. And uh, Jesus, uh, I already noticed this in my own yard in what was what has been this nice, fresh, bubbling spring. Uh, I guess it is Saturday, May 21st, 2022, as we hit 90 degrees, hopefully for the last time <clears throat> in 2022. <coughs> yeah, right. And uh, so I have been raiding the local reservoir, Whitney Point Reservoir in upstate New York for uh, bog garden plants. Made a pretty good haul. We'll see what lives after trying to transplant water plants in the 90 degree baking heat. But anyway, uh, what I was noticing, and I just didn't have my camera with me on the kayak, I didn't want to drop it, and collecting plants was same thing that I've noticed in my own yard in May, and that is just this this slime, this algae uh, growing uh, in, in places where I have never seen algae before. As far as I know, it was snowing like 15 inches here two or three weeks ago, and already these algae blooms in, in New York, baby. I mean, what the hell? It's May 21st in, in this shit. So now I'm freaking out that I'm, uh, you know, I was harvesting plants, uh, you know, from the edge of the reservoir where this slimy ass shit grows. And so now I'm uh, getting paranoid, you know, that I'm bringing some sort of toxic algae introducing it into my pond and my little dog is going to go out there and kill himself and uh, I would have thought this was ridiculous about this algae but then I remembered uh, it was two years ago when I was up here not far from here uh, in Dryden New York uh, which is actually a, actually a little bit north of here and two years ago, when uh, I went kayaking in the lake up in uh, Dryden, which is about, I don't know what is Dryden, 15 miles east of Ithaca. I mean, all of these warning signs. Uh, do not let your dog drink out of this water. Uh, there is no, there were no swimming signs posted everywhere that uh, if you take your boat into the, into this algae infested water to scrub your boat when you get home, that uh, these, these toxic algae blooms. Now, of course, that was in, you know, like August at the very end of, uh, of that long hot summer two years ago uh, where they were talking about that toxic blue-green algae killing your damn dog and uh, here it is May I mean I honestly don't know if uh, that slimy shit back in Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, would kill Sancho uh, I mean even e you know, I, I mean, I really washed off everything real well, uh, and so trying to keep this stuff off. But the the, the shit's going to find its way uh, into my pond. You know, what the hell, it's probably already, you know, in that spring over by the damn garden. All it's got to do is uh, move about 100 feet. Jesus. I can only imagine what the hell is going to go on in Florida 
uh, this summer. It, it, this is New York in May, and that these ponds that I, you know, that I've never seen with algae on. I mean, you know, one of these beautiful ponds that I've been jealous of drive into Brother Basil's, I go past this uh, beautiful pond that always stays right up to its surface. This is absolutely a uh, beautiful pond that I've been, as I say, been jealous of for the past three years. Damn thing is covered with slime. I bet those god. I bet those people are, I bet they're goddamn pissed, man. I, I bet they're fucking freaking out. And uh, so I guess you can buy this uh, shit, the, you know, this algicide to dump in your pond. Right now, I don't have any algae in my pond that I'm aware of. Uh, not showing up in my pond. But I'm seeing it, I, I probably, but right down the road from me, a mile from me, I notice one of my neighbor's ponds is, uh, it is like completely covered with this green slime in the third week of May. And uh, I mean, I don't know why my pond uh, doesn't have this shit in it. I mean, it will soon enough, I'm probably bringing it to my pond now so anyway we're just, we're just fucked uh, anyway they claim this heat's only gonna last one more day then it's gonna drop back down and be 46 degrees uh, Monday night and shaping up for an absolutely beautiful Memorial Day for the grand opening of the Bugs in a Jar Farm Airbnb and Hip Camp. Right now I have one reservation in the tiny house next week. And other than that, I haven't heard from anybody with this goddamn $5 a gallon gas and uh, this looming recession and good God another day on the fucking planet so get out there and enjoy your own algae free pond in New York alright this is Dean's Pond let's check out this pond I would call this a lake okay this is a beautiful probably whether you call it uh A pond or a lake. Now this one looks pretty good. I am seeing no algae in Dean's Pond. I am thrilled to report this beautiful pond. It is filled up to the brim and no sign of algae blooms in Dean's Pond. See, can you actually go down here and park, or is this all private? I don't know if there's any public access or not. I guess not. But anyway, enjoy Dean's Pond while you still can before the damn slime moves into it, too. Going to get me a chicken speedy chicken speedy sandwich at the deli here in town but I dropped by there earlier and the deli is closed until further notice because of corona panic they're still you know this the the Finger Lakes this is the ground zero corona panic uh, fucking mainstream media Make it sounding like everybody up here is dropping dead of Corona panic. I notice, uh, at least in Tioga County, where I live, that apparently in the last seven months, I guess one person 
and they're claiming died with corona panic uh, in the last seven months. We have had what's probably an old fat sick person dying of corona panic since I left here seven months ago. But anyways, probably one more reason for uh, the lack of business at Bugs in a Jar Farm. But it is a gorgeous day. It's going to be 90 degrees. You might as well enjoy it here. Oh my gosh.